What's going on YouTube? This is Sean. I am back again. And in this video, we're going to be working on Dead Poodle. And it's going to be my own rendition. The X-Force Edition. Which is actually gray and black. But I decided to go with silver and gunmetal because why not? And uh, if you don't like this color, you can pretend it's whatever color you want it to be. So I'm going to start with this heavy duty fabric that I picked up from Walmart. I've already went and hemmed up the edges and sewn on some elastic with some velcro sewed onto that. I even sewed on this velcro right here which is going to attach to his corresponding loop that's going to be sewed onto the uh, undersuit. And since I'm using TNT's foam which is actually smooth on both sides and it's not sealed on either side, I went ahead and used contact cement. Now I normally use hot glue for this application but this gives it a bit of a cleaner look on the edge. Now it is a bit time consuming but the end result is pretty clean. Now I did cut the accents in an inward angle facing down that way when I glue it on there it does bevel and it gives it a uh, pretty cool look. And then once all the contact cement is dry to attack it's time to go in there and carefully place all my pieces down to the uh, marked area. And this is kind of like putting together a puzzle. Kinda, not really, I don't know. And once I got all my pieces all glued down, it's time to put some force on there to make sure everything is nice and on there. Here are the pieces for the chest area. Now I did play around with the thickness of the foam. This little brown foam piece right here, that was actually five millimeter thick foam and then the rest of it was like eight millimeter. This kind of gives it some depth in the uh, the foam I guess uh, now when I cut the center line of the chest piece I'd cut it with a slight outward angle and when I glue them together this will help it um, I guess make it look more muscular ish the idea is to get it to dip a little bit more down in the center and wrap around the body so that way it looks a little more organic now I'm gonna apply some heat to the uh, chest area and I'm going to use this PVC thingy with a cap on it to help roll the foam and make it look a little more organic. Now that I got my chest piece fully assembled I went and applied glue on both the abdominal fabric and the uh, inside of the chest piece. I'm using the edge of my table to help me um, apply the fabric to the chest piece because Having one half of the abdominal piece off the edge and out of the way makes it easier for me to align one half of the chest piece. I hope you guys understand what I'm talking about because I kind of confused myself. And now that I got everything all lined up and looking pretty nice, I went ahead and pressed down the inside making sure everything is nice and on there. Because the last thing you want is, uh, you know, for your armor to fall apart because we don't like that. Now I'm going to apply the trap strap bazoid area to the chest piece and then I'm going to assemble the back piece and then attach that on there too. Here are the pieces for the back piece. It's pretty simple. You take these two little foot shaped thingies and attach it down to the center piece and then you carefully align the uh, trap bazoid strap to the uh, back piece just like that. I'm using the surface of my table to make sure that my foam is properly and evenly aligned giving me a really nice and clean seam. Alrighty tidy I'm just about done with the upper armor piece. I'm gonna cut me up some velcro which I'm going to attach to the back of the armor. Notice I use some contact cement let that dried up so that way the uh, back end adhesive of the velcro can stick there permanently and then that elastic loop velcro thing that I sewed on to the uh, abdominal piece attaches to that. And now I'm going to apply some accents to the abdominal and the chest piece area. I use some 5mm craft foam for these little dagger looking thingies. Now I probably should have went with something a little bit thinner because they do bulge out a little bit more than I wanted to. But uh, I just went with it. I mean I've already glued one down. I might as well glue all the rest of them down right? I mean it's, it's whatever. I mean it's just cosplay bro. Then I went and added on some accents with some 4mm 
craft foam or EVA foam. This might have been a little too much as far as accents go, but uh, why not? I mean, just throw it on there. Here are the pieces for the shoulder bicep. Let's call it shoulder sep, or you can call it bider. I don't know. And some of you guys are probably thinking, Sean, why don't you just look up these pieces and call it what they really are? I mean, it's not that hard, right? I mean, if it really bothers you, why don't you help me help you help me help you by telling me what they really are in the comment section below. I mean, we could go that route too, you know? But anywho, this is what the shoulder piece is looking like. Once I get it all glued together, now it's time to apply some elastic. And I measured this around my arm, which is like, you know, scrawny compared to my mannequin arm. So it was kind of tight when I slipped it on my mannequin, but then, uh, who's wearing it to the convention, right? I mean, it's not going to be me, but it's definitely not going to be my mannequin either. So, I will. So I put some elastic there and I'll also put some, uh, Velcro, which is going to hook on to the corresponding loop, which is also going to be sewn onto the under armor. Here is the pieces for the gauntlet, which is quite simple. I mean, two pieces glued together down the center. Now I'm using TNT Cosplay Supplies foam, and I didn't really have to flip the patterns over when I cut both of them, but when you go to glue your elastic on there, you gotta keep in mind that uh, you got one left arm and one right arm, duh. But I guess I didn't have to tell you that. And then I went and cut me up some accents. This gave it a little bit of, uh, I don't know, flair. But I wanted to make sure that I glued the elastic on before I glued the accents on there. That way I can curve the accents around a curved gauntlet. So here are the pieces for the shin guard. Looks pretty simple, right? I've already drawn out my lines for the accent, which I'm going to apply some glue on later. And since it's one big piece, I wanted to make it wrap around the shin area. So I took my wood burner and burned me some undercuts along this imaginary line. You can't really see it in this video, but it's really there. You can just pretend it's there, but you kind of see where I'm going with it. Now I'm going to apply some heat to both sides of the shin guard and then I'm going to roll it so that way it can take its shape a little bit better. Now I could have went back and applied some hot glue along the undercuts to make the seam line a little bit more defined but I decided not to. And right here I'm applying some heat to the knee pad area and I'm going to use this PVC cap to round things off just a bit. And then I'm going to apply some contact cement and then carefully... Uh, attach it to the rest of the shin guard so far so groovy and I'm starting to dig this shin guard thingy and now it's time to apply on some accents notice I'm using red and black foam I did this on purpose so that way you can sort of kind of see what it looks like in red and black before I paint it silver and gunmetal now here are the pieces for the boot covers I plan on wearing some dress shoes with the uh, with this armor and you're probably thinking dress shoes what the heck why don't you just get boots well because boots can be uncomfortable and these will make my dress shoes look like boots sort of kind of and i can paint these and uh yeah so far this is what it's looking like and i'm going to put some elastic and velcro which is going to wrap around each other just like that you see here later on in the video what it's going to look like um, these are the pieces for the thigh guards, which is pretty plain and simple. I'm going to take some weapons that I used for my first Deadpool and I'm going to integrate it to this cosplay. And here are the pieces for the shoe cover guard, which I'm going to be able to paint this to match the boot cover because my dress shoes are actually black and uh, it's not going to, I'm not going to paint the dress shoes. It's just... It's just cosplay, bro, and I'm not going to do that. I went ahead and applied some heat so that way it can form around the shoe quite nicely. And those right back here, I'm going to glue that strap down so that way it'll give it a strappy looking effect. I went ahead and colored it or painted it sterling silver and throw in on some really dark gunmetal overspray just to give it some contrast. And I'm going to apply some hot glue here so that way I can put some elastic down onto the sides this is going to hold it down on the shoe without having to 
put any actual velcro or super glue this thing down to my shoes so it's going to strap on just like that and because this is uh dress shoes not high top or anything like that i can actually slip it on through the front or the back and the elastic will hold it down and there you have it i took a pair of dress shoes and made them into some pretty cool looking cosplay shoes some deadpool shoes so here's a shot of the armor before the paint goes down and i just wanted to show you guys what it looked like i mean this can potentially be any other character it doesn't necessarily have to be deadpool that's the best part of doing my own renditions because uh if i don't like it as one character i can always swap it off and make it another character now i went and painted a silver or a gray base coat that way the sterling silver can go on there really easily and then i went back and threw on some darker overspray which is like uh, a black gunmetal ish and then i went back and painted the accents on the shin guards and the gauntlet with a matte black color that way this will be a good base coat for the gunmetal this will help give it some contrast to the overall look of the armor and here's a shot of the thigh guard with the elastic and velcro already glued on and notice i put some velcro on the inside of the thigh guard this is going to attach to some velcro which is sewn onto the under armor just like that this helps it from slipping down and uh making a fool of myself and here is how i strap up the boot covers it's just going to go together just like that and then the shin guard goes over it you've seen this before i've done this on a couple of my other cosplays where well, there you have it guys this is where i'm at so far i'm going to cover the harness and stuff in the next video so uh be on the lookout for that because i'm going to drop that really quick i wanted to uh get this done and on to the next project and if you're into this kind of stuff i mean if you're really into this kind of stuff Follow the link in the description down below and it's going to take you to uh, some awesome templates. I guess that's it for this video. You guys make sure you guys hit that like button if you got something out of this video. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already subscribed. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.